What's your name, baby? My name is Felicia. Oh, this Felicia? is crazy. Okay. Where are you calling Felicia. from? From Sacramento, California. Sacramento, California. How old are you? I'm 28. I'll be 29 in August. So what's your zodiac? So you're 28. What's your zodiac sign? Yeah. Oh, yo. Leo, what do you do for a living, Felicia? Bye, Felicia. Oh, <laughs> you know you gotta say it. Bye, Felicia. Nah, I don't know. Oh, my son trying to look. Is okay? I'm oh, sorry. Say again. Hi. Hi. Oh, you have a son. How old's your son? My son is three. I have a, a nine-year-old daughter as well. But um, I'm a registered pharmacy technician. A three-year-old and a nine-year-old, and you're yeah. a pharmacy technician. Yes, and I also uh, started my own business. Uh, it's a kind of a skincare business. Uh, right now, I just have an organic sugar scrub. A what? Uh, right now, I have an organic sugar scrub, but it's really so like a skincare business. So you're a pharmacy yes. technician, and you do organic sugar scrub. Yes. So okay, pharmacy tech two? and a business owner. Yes. Oh, okay. And you have two yes. children, three and nine. Yes. Um, both are the same man? No. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? <laughs> um, it was, uh, we didn't like mesh well together and stop baby, the other way. We didn't like mesh well. There was, um, I feel like I was taking care of a kid, honestly. You felt like you were taking care of kids? Yeah, like he was a child is how I felt like it felt like another responsibility that's probably messed up I said that on TV oh shit okay but <laughs> I'm sorry okay, so that was just no honest that. truth. that's the guy honest truth yeah okay um so we got Felicia Sacramento California 28 Leo pharmacy tech mom to two um and she also does organic sugar scrub um never married correct no Okay. What kind of man you looking for now, honey? Before she do, she said all that. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Holy hell. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. So here we go. I love when they come up here and try to rub their baby daddies through the mud. He ain't no good. Yada, yada. You got these small children. What are you? He immature. He dusty. She going, Kendra said, why ain't you with your one of your baby daddy? She said, we didn't mesh together. Mesh. This ain't, we ain't up here. What's mesh? Y'all, me mesh. How long they, did it take to mesh? How long did yeah, it take to figure out that you don't get along? With it, the person? Took, it took 48 hours for they meets to mesh together. They knew it. Listen, they, why don't they just keep it a buck? Say, I got with him just a hunch. It turned into something more. All right. that raw hunching turned out, and a baby just popped up out of nowhere. We don't know the stork just left the middle of the night. They know what it oh. is. They be situationships turned right. into lifelong situationships. They need to just keep it a book. Right. I mean, a beautiful, beautiful smile. Why she made that choice for hair, I don't know. That's just huh. wild to me. I don't get it. I mean, and then you got two, you got one child. See, I would learn, I would try to learn in this day and age. See, I had my children in, the, in my children in the 80s, okay? Totally different time. But today, with so much information on the internet, so much information out there, how is it that we're still having children and not understanding that people don't really want relationships until you don't want a relationship? You just want to have sex. So why not just have sex? Why bring a child into a relationship where we didn't mesh? What do you mean we didn't mesh? You didn't know you, know, you didn't mesh when you were getting before you got pregnant? Because I, I challenged the women to say, how long did you date that man before you got pregnant? Did you date that man for a year or talk to that man for a year before you got pregnant? And if you talk to him a year before you got pregnant, then it's your fault that you're in the situation that you're in because you knew he wasn't any good that year. But yet still you got pregnant anyway, right? And then I fought you again if you got pregnant two months in and you screwing this guy raw 
and you ain't concerned yourself about protecting yourself or protecting anything else that comes down the road the, this is a this is a major problem this is a major problem for these women out here major man no i'm sorry it's a problem for the men it's a problem for everybody all around the board but mm. really i'm concerned about the women because they they if you tell me i'm not taking i'm not going to take birth control i'm not going to control myself and but i'm going to still have sex then you're a rockhead huh. then you got, you got rock brains right you know er, this is the microwave society there's the concept of consistency and things like that are gone and with that like birth control them popping them pills every day that i feel like i don't know but i feel like that time is coming gone today's modern woman's birth control is plan b pills that's wicked that's and great. they they expressed that on social media i remember they had a song a year ago called henny and plan b that was yeah. their form of birth control yeah but that's sad seeing as how it's like 15 15 possible ways that you don't have to get pregnant there's 15 different ways you can do things in order to prevent pregnancy other than you know other than the pill i mean there's all kinds of things you can the iud where they can stick that up inside you and and no 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 i don't know what the kind of effects these women are talking about but you can find one that doesn't give you the side effects that you don't want and you can prevent you being attached to this man this man being attached to you you coming up with a baby that you don't want to take care of now look what she said she said she's a pharmacy tech mm -hmm. pharmacy tech equals poor huh. now now she got two kids pharmacy tech plus two kids equals double poor she said she's single so pharmacy tech two kids single means poverty level for a long time hmm. and shout out to eagles fan for life says average pharmacy tech makes 35 to 42k so can't ask for six figures a oh, bull yes they can and will <laughs> uh now i am looking for a protector a provider a honest person someone with good communication um a husband is what i'm looking for Ooh. not like somebody i gotta babysit and take care of like it's like what do i look like giving my all to somebody like trying to make you chocolate covered strawberries and give you a back massage or something and you're not even like and i gotta pay the bills you know i don't i'm over that like i feel like i know what i'm worth at this point okay what are your uh, deal breakers uh i wrote them down because i ain't got time uh Mooches, hey. bad hygiene, no goals, like no aspirations, and like, like you should be working towards something. Is how I feel. Um, people with poor communication, the liars, um, uh, people not working, or people that don't want to work, um, and yeah, people are inconsistent. People that's inconsistent. Hey. Okay, yeah. so you look a certain way. Not really. I feel like um, I'm not. I I like uh I <laughs> can find beauty in different things. <laughs> I I can find beauty in different things. I don't have like a specific type, but I do prefer brown skin. <laughs> prefer brown skin, man. Yeah. We can tell your baby brown skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? Um. I don't said, feel yeah, like there's a certain yeah. amount. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> how much money? Your, how much money your new daddy gotta make? Oh, no, what is that? I don't what know, man. That? I don't know. Who? Uh, I'm sorry. He three? Yes, he's three. He speaks in full sentences though. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I know how to take care of a kid. I've been cooking all my life. I'm a good person. I'm genuine. I'm caring. I'm nurturing. And it's like I'm tired of pouring and my cup not getting filled. You know. Um, but I, personally, I don't feel like there's like a certain number, but enough to provide. And it's not just me at this point, And that's just the truth. Like yeah. All right. Well. Showing a baby off, showing a baby off. Oh, oh, oh. Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. This is sick. This is sick. She come up here 
and she talk about I'm tired of pouring from an empty cup. This is called the old Nug Nug three cup Monty. This is what he did. <laughs> all right. Nug Nug can't hurt a cup, but he cut a hole in the bottom of it. All right. Then he places a cup underneath it, and then he starts to pour into her cup, and it goes right back into his cup. <laughs> No, you see what I'm saying, Bunkley? Why Nug Nug poured into your cup is going right through because it's a big hole in the bottom and it's going back into Nug Nug's <laughs> other cup. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen to the the logic. She right. two for two, two men. She then gave two men's the highest honor. She she birthed their children, and now and only now does she know her worth. Her words. And now she's ready to be a wife. She ain't going to keep, as Gavin said, she ain't about to keep, you know what I'm saying, watching Nug Nug cupeth runneth over and hers is empty, full of glaze. <laughs> Just now, ladies, so any ladies out there, right. if you ain't got no kids, do not take this path. Do not get, be out here two for two talking about now you're ready to be a husband because you got, what, experience? Shout out to Tyranny. I guess now she got experience, huh, Tyranny? Huh? <laughs> That's crazy. You, 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 there's nothing. There is no see that. See, it's a pattern. It's a pattern when you continue to do the same thing. She, first off, we understand that she's not completely educated. We understand that. Two, we understand that she, she has no control of her children because otherwise the children would be in a different room, not sitting up under her. Sure. Three, her personal hygiene choices are kind of messed up because why would you need to ask about or say his hygiene needs to be put together? No one, there's no man on this earth that's going to approach heathen queen and he has be he has body odor problems. Talk I just don't it. I just don't radiate coming to me and saying, Oh, she's gonna accept me with body odor. Certain <laughs> women, certain women you look at and they will accept that. Three, she has two children. She's not with either one of those baby daddies. She has issues with the baby daddies, hasn't resolved any of those things. They could circle back around and say, oh, baby, I'm, I changed. Would you take me back? She seemed like that type of female because she's living in Delulu land. She, want, she don't want to be giving out chocolate covered roses or strawberries <laughs> and this, that, and the third, which is a fantasy right off the bat. You got to be making a lot of money to be dealing with those kind of things unless you just one of those poor people who do that kind of shit. Man, it's a whole man. bunch of delusion that's going on with this lady right here. <clears throat> and she she ain't she ain't did the work for herself. Nobody's saying you can't get out of the hole, but you keep digging. Keep digging and you're going to stay right there where you're at. Mm -hmm. Keep digging. Yes, I can take care of myself. Yes, I can take care of my children. And yes, I have been and doing it myself. But if you think you're stepping in my life, you that's that's your role. So you better step in the role is how I feel. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. You gotta put baby oh, down. I I'm nervous. Oh my god. Uh, come this way, baby. You don't got pants on. <laughs> I had it ready, I swear to God. Okay. I'm trying to do Okay, we see you, baby. Listen. The way that little nugget just came in the screen and sneezed like that. I got chills up my spine. I was like, what is this? What I know, this? right? <laughs> Man, you got to work like, you got to go in that house with an N95 mask on, you know, latex gloves. This is nasty. Oh, but that's that little boy's house. Go in there if you want to. It's, right. This is wicked. This is that hunching with the baby on the bed type work. That little right. boy ain't going nowhere. This is and, listen, and listen here, that sister, they so full bar self awareness is out the window. Listen yeah. to me, I'm going to decipher her bone creature hoodoo. Any woman that will say I'm chunky, she thinks she's just thick. Yeah, she stood up. You see, she was proud with that oatmeal pie flabbed out. And how I don't know how it don't matter how old she is. I she could be 25 to like 30. 28, 28 to exactly. Right. It, Snug Nug still already got the freshest squeak. Look at the 
Jesus oh. And here, here we go. She said, here and say, I'm a good mom. Not listen here. Parenting is a mother. Not though. I ain't throwing no shade, but she going to sit here and say, I'm a good mom. And we all know there's this thing about having your kids on there. And that's a, it's a no, no, whatever. It's, it's yeah. just, it's weird work. Very wonky. I mean, she just, she just proud to be on the screen. Just proud to be on the screen to show off the baby, to show off. How good a mother she is it's like look you don't even understand it's like you got one positive thing what's the one positive thing y'all what is it her smile everything else yeah okay. everything else a negative right huh. if you, you look go at the whole total you take the totality in into what's going on in that picture everything is a negative she got a beautiful smile that's it that's it right but that's not enough to pull folks in. You got you got baby drama, you got baby daddy drama, you got mm. weight issues, you got job issues, you got mental issues, you got an entitlement issues, you got just everything is just messed up. Everything. It, we can wrap this up so quick as to why this poor sister's food bar. Look at that. She's so proud. She <laughs> she two for two. <laughs> look, look at little look at little nuggulation there. Little, little baby junior <laughs> nug nug coming to the screen. And even with two nuglets, she say, now I'm ready to be a wife. To who? To, to who? who? Show me this. Show me this ninja that is standing around like, you know what? Now that this sister is two for two, now she didn't let two nug nugs work overtime on her uterus. Now she ready for me. <laughs> Pookie, Pookie is waiting in line to give her another baby. That's what Pookie waiting in line to do. That's how they, all these women have baby after baby after baby, different baby daddies. Pookie come along, get, need some place to stay, need somebody to have a consistent job. Get her pregnant, bam, they can't get along. He walk out. Then another pookie come along, get her pregnant again, thinking she gonna be the one, thinking she gonna be decent enough to live with and have a place and a roof to live. She, I don't mind her having kids. He get her pregnant again. That's how they get all the multiple baby daddies right there. <laughs> and she about to make another one. Right. And shout out to Merciful. He says, baby's kids. Cause she's all looking right. for love. When they looking for love, that's when they gonna have three, four, five different babies down there. They looking for love. <laughs> and Jizzle Man says, "Guys, don't ever go over there. You will be entertaining her kids half of the night." There you go. Yep, yep, dancing and singing, trying to get him to sleep so you can do weird things to his mommy. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, in today's age, there's already so it's a, such a small percentage of men that are willing to take women serious with children. And these are like you got to be a woman on your square. You got to be right. upstairs. You can't be up here with your belly out, your kid all in the screen. See, this is ratchet. There's a particular kind of woman who qualify for these for this small percentage of men that do exist. So and you shouldn't be, and you and you definitely shouldn't have kids. You shouldn't have nobody looking at the kids at that time of night when it's the, when the when the sun go down. You shouldn't have no kids in your face, whether you got company or not. Should no kids be in your face? They should be Amen. in the bed, in the bedroom, doing whatever they got to do on a tablet, reading a book, however you need to do it. But don't bring your ass out that door after seven o'clock or eight o'clock. No structure. No structure. And I look at I look at women like that. If I see you and your kids are up past seven, eight o'clock, and they under the age of fourteen or fifteen, you ain't doing what you got to do as a mother. You just ain't doing it. Amen. Baby, I I work out. I sorry, Felicia Sacramento. Do you want the guy to be in Sacramento? Um, no, it's not like no, it doesn't matter. Okay, um, when was your last relationship? Uh, probably with his dad like three, four years ago, three or four years ago. You don't have to answer, yeah. but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, almost three years. It would be three years around August. Three years around. And August. I okay. plan on staying celibate until I'm married. So if that's what you want, don't even bother me at this point. Like, just saying. I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> so no more sex until you're married. 
Yes. That's where I'm I am. I'm gonna let you respond. Life. I'm gonna let you respond because you know they're gonna say, "Girl, I know. you got two baby daddies and a three-year-old, and <laughs> now you're locking it down." I know. I I felt like I was gonna get some heat because of that, but honestly, it's just because like I feel like even with both of their parent, with both of their fathers, like I knew them for a lot of years, and it was like. You know, like, I feel like I was tricked. Like, they helped me take care of somebody else's kid and all this and all that. But then you can't handle your own responsibilities. And it's like, well, I need to know that you can handle responsibilities before all that. And then, two, I feel like um, I feel like people, I feel like I get used a lot for, like, my energy or, like, for things that I do for people. Or, like, I'm a giving and caring kind of person. But, um, like, even with like certain family, it's like, I gotta make sure I'm not giving to the wrong people because then I'm sitting there with like nothing left to give and nothing for myself, but I gave my last to somebody that wouldn't even give me something when they got more than they last, you know? Like, I just, um, I just feel like I did it the wrong way, honestly. I did it the wrong way and I did it the wrong way twice and it is what it is, but I've been celibate this long and I don't give a shit about waiting. Oh, okay. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice, and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. <laughs> and also, this woman's two for two celibate. She said she's celibate. Hey, G Honda. I didn't Is this camera on me? <laughs> yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She yes. doing the right thing. She doing the right thing, and I tell you why. Good. First off, she's young and she don't she don't want to be seen as a yeah. To, to 204, 304, okay? You're not young. The only, you, only you, right reason quick, why- right only quick, reason young. Why, hold on, but only reason why being celibate, only re what reason why being celibate makes no sense is when you as old as me. Because you, you gotta be giving this pussy away. Only person that wants this pussy is grandpa. So when you my age, it makes sense to get Listen, a pussy away. When she's my, young, it don't make sense. Here's, so here's the thing, golly. Okay, now, <laughs> young. You said she young. I don't think she young. Twenty eight. We gotta we gotta stop that. Twenty eight ain't young, especially when you two for two. Like, let's keep it a buck. She now seriously. I'm over this. She twenty eight, and she talking about she want to get married for real, real bad. She want marriage real bad. All right. She ain't young. She two for two. Talking about she been celibate for three years, and I'm feeling the. I don't know what to say about that. Like, what is she supposed to do? She yeah, now a little bit of a little, a little bit of self awareness came into the room. Now she said, "I did it wrong two times." Right. She right. did. She said, "I did it wrong two times." Right. She acknowledged that a little self awareness came into the room a little bit. And but peeked she still the corner. ain't took stock. But she still ain't took stock of her shortcomings. You still have not taken stock of your shortcoming. But First off, get control of the kids. Get control of the kids. Get control of the weight. Get control of the hair. Get control of the, the income. These are things you got to get control of before you can walk out the door and say you want a decent man. Your level, your level is only at a certain level. You shouldn't be looking nowhere above your station. Figure out where your level is as a female. Figure it out. And then you go from there. And you hope and pray that dude that works at the post office, that dude that works at the factory, that dude that's a, 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 a forklift driver, you hope and pray that man wants to put a ring on your finger because yes. that's where your level is right now. OK, you ain't you shouldn't go above your station because ain't no rich man. No, no. Uh, Russell Wilson going to come out the woodwork and pick mm. you up. Don't even imagine it. Go mm. to your level. Do, get the babies under control, get the weight under control, so you look your best, so you can present a, a a good front to this man that you want to make your husband, and he can look at you and look at the kids and say, <clears throat> okay, she got a nice body, she pulled her shit together, the kids are in order, the kids are well-mannered, I ain't got to worry about those three things, well, maybe I can make her my wife, and maybe she might have three, four more kids of my mine, and we might be able to get along, but other than that, that's the best hope she got. That's it. Here's here's my thing. That sister, she would be she would be so fortunate and blessed 
to get a forklift driver or warehouse worker. That's the thing. Like fortunate bl- and extremely blessed to get Mr. Soup Spoon. Fingers. That's what I said. That's <laughs> what I said. <laughs> like that wouldn't be settling. Like that's what these sisters need to understand. You two for the two. At that point, you two for two. It don't matter how much little bit of self awareness you got. You can't be up here talking about celibate now all of a sudden. Because I'm telling y'all, men think this. Mister, I don't care, Mister, Mister Soup Spoon, uh, finger forklift driver. He's sitting there. He listened to you. He's looking at these two nug nugs. He's like, I know you've been hunching. I sees it. But now you telling me I'm about to go to Jared and get this ring, and you telling me I can't. I can't get a sample without putting a ring. I'm showing you that I'm serious. See, so what I'm saying is they need to keep that in their back pocket. Don't tell this next man that's about to be your husband that he can't get none until he walked down the aisle. That's wicked. Yeah, like but they but don't she, they need to just saying. stop saying celibate. Like seriously. Yeah, but she she has that mo- one moment, that little moment of clarity when she said, I, I, I made this mistake once, I made this mistake twice. She has that one moment of clarity, but you need to have more than one moment. You need to have three, four, five more, specifically starting with the weight and the kids and doing what you want. Is there any way that those, that, the, is there, she has a young girl that's nine or is it another boy? Did she say? I don't uh, know. It's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. But, but she talking about being celibate. For three, I don't believe it at all. I don't think any of us believe that this woman is. She got a three year old. You know the baby daddy been through. She been with a man this year. If you like, if you're in the chat right now, drop a one in the chat if y'all think she been with a man in 2024. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's that. I couldn't even get to that. She says she ain't had her meat hunched in three years. Look, listen. Ladies, even even if it's true, I'm going to make it clear as day, even in the wild world of Willy Wonka, if it's true, right. all right, it is in the man's best interest to not believe it. In but today's she, sexualized world, you've been celibate for three, a year, like Gavin said, she hunched this year. You which, be one, which one is better, though? Her hunching on the baby daddy or her hunching... If she's if she's neither, not selling, neither if she's not neither. selling. You see that? It, that's and that's it's what always I'm a better word. Neither. It's that's that's why we come with the term full bar. F beyond all repair. It's over and recognition. You don't know what you're looking at. Hey, you can't fix this. She two for two. Right. You, can't, you can't fix it. Right. Like she got to she got to strike gold. She literally got to strike gold and land her a lowly. So you whoever. you have to admit you have to admit there's a, is there, there's a difference between. A female who has two children before she gets married, and she has two children, right? She yeah. has two different baby daddies. This one right here has two, two, but they have the same daddy. These two children have the same daddy. These children have two different daddy. This one got that body snatched up. The body is tight. The body is working. The kids are in line. Is that different from her over here? Uh, not really. I mean, not, I mean, to the, not to the single men. You're asking the wrong people. Yeah, but can she just go over here and ask for more? I'm telling you. According to, the men, more? according to the single men, they really don't care. You got two kids. They don't care who is by. They could be Jesus babies. Immaculate conceptions. Mother Mary. Yeah. They don't care. So why are we asking her to pull her shit together if it don't matter if this one pulled her shit well, together. It's over. We ain't trying to save her. It's oh, over. No. Okay. I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying there's a difference. <laughs> I'm saying there's a difference. Listen, shout out. <laughs> it is a small difference, but to most men, they don't care. And Rob says, mark this date on the calendar. On the calendar, Rob agrees with Heathen Queen. The girl does does not want to turn into a 304. Does not want to turn into a 304? She's already no. there. No, Listen. she's not there yet. <laughs> she's, she's not there yet. I mean, she, okay. Out. So, what's the difference between her if she would have got her first husband would have died, she got married again, and she got a divorce? What's the difference between her that person who got the divorces and this <laughs> young lady right here? Aren't they different? <laughs> I, I Queen, what are you trying to convince? Even I, I just gotta, I gotta figure out how, how how she can. I'm trying to figure out how they can come up in the hierarchy. I mean, are they See, all it, on the same level? Here's here's the thing. It as far as it, it is okay, it is different. But here's the thing: it ain't different in a good way. It's just like all right, the woman that's widowed with two kids, 
maybe Mr. 40 Hour is going to be more inclined to talk to her. But and and maybe and might lie about monogamy. But the one that's two for two, Mr. 40 Hour is going to let her know where the TI is and monogamy ain't on the table. So that's what it's different, but it ain't. It's still the same deal. It's not good. Maybe before you care. How about but that? See, we're trying, <laughs> but see, we're trying to promote women. Uh, uh, we're trying to promote they need to make a deal. So if 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 neither one of these are good and they still looked at the same way, what deal? What, what deal are they go making? go outside your local warehouse? Uh, all I'm like 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 the Mexican brothers be outside Home Depot waiting right. to get picked up by a general contractor to go do a day's work. These right. sisters need to be waiting outside at Amazon and any functioning warehouse <laughs> with baked apple pies and baked goods. And dresses on, waiting for the men to come out, and and they gonna get them a man. One of them ninjas is hungry and horny, and he gonna pick one. That's the, and two <laughs> things is true. <laughs> two things is true. He the queen. You keep saying they they already made the deal because the the title of the show is Modern Woman Must Make a Deal or Be Alone. The deal was already presented to her. She got two baby daddies. Now she must be alone. That's the second part. Of, she was already. She had deals. She didn't take them. She should have been married twice. But we gotta. But we gotta understand. Some of these women are still getting. Some of these women are still getting men. From what I understand, I, I saw on a different panel. It was a female who had four children, four baby daddies, and she still got a single man who didn't have no kids. No time out. Time out. Girl, do that work? Let's not, let's not disproving any rules. The men have spoken. You ain't gonna find me one guy I think you're gonna disprove anything when you got millions of men. Or they are in lockstep and they are screaming for yeah, the Yeah, but the men say they still gonna take fat women. They still gonna take whatever woman come they down. Wiping the them. They side pieces. So that's the deal for a lot of women. You got to be a side piece. That's your deal. Yeah, I think my these sisters need to realize j just like what when we mean the exceptions. The exceptions don't displace. You know what I'm saying? The facts and the norms. Right. All right. And it just because you know five grande aunties in your community that happen to get married <laughs> that ma managed to get married at 45 50 right. don't meet like that's still under one percent across the world. Like that's what they understand. They're like, I got an auntie that got married at 45. I got an auntie, right. you know, a grandma that got married. Like, stop, just stop. It happens. But like we say, context. Let's give us all the context. It makes sense. And shout out to Jizzle Man. He come through and says, Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and he come back, says, Pound Town Shorty in disguise. Ain't no disguise. Ain't no disguise. Yeah. Ain't no, look, look at the hair. The hair. That's why I say hair, lashes, makeup is all show how the software, how they move. That red hair, she two for two. Are you surprised? <laughs> Yeah, this is her. Huh. And he eat me out. Hi, I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? I take, I respect Pound Town Shorty more than these fake Pound Town Show. At least she, she know who she is. <laughs> yeah. I, I love a person who know who they are, know Amen. where their level is. They know Amen. where their level is. They That's why. Why you think Jesus was cool with what's her name, Mary Magdalene, the the three o four? She knew she was a three o four. Jesus, like, ah, you you cool, you good for you. At least you ain't fronting. Girl. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to Jay Gray. He says, "Her, I've been celibate for three years." Ebony K, stop the cap. Stop the cap, <laughs> please. And Top Pro says, "HQ, if she got kids, she just for hunching. It's over. It's over." Like you said, a lot of times, HQ, you got to, you know, have an outer body experience. Like say, I know you was able to find a man, like say you had children, different time in history. You got to, you can't think of these women as the same or the men. Everything's different. And it's just. Yeah, you know, like, but I, I went and I snatched the body. I snatched the body. The kids is under control. My kids were two and one. Okay. Two and one. I, you know, I had a, a frank conversation with the baby daddy. This ain't what it is. This ain't never going to happen. Don't bring yourself around acting a fool. Otherwise, my husband going to put some lead on that ass. This is how it's going to be. I mean, <laughs> there's that. I mean, I'm just decisive that way. You have to I be decisive. And, and I, you know, and I had 
you know, I, I was working, independent, doing my thing. I was amiable. I wasn't ratchet. I've never been that way. And and he was and he just happened to be one of those people who wanted to at that particular time be married and wanted a wife. And I presume so you said so so boom, you get you, this is part of the example though. Right. You know, it's a volatile situation. You say you had your husband and you telling your baby daddy, right. I got this new man and he the head of the house. If you got mm -hmm. a problem with that, you come over here with any nonsense, he'll mess around and delete you. Right. You, see, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, we tell men that's why men ain't doing it no more right. they didn't right. they, the internet wasn't here 30 40 mm -hmm. years ago they didn't know they know right. now right right yeah like like that's the thing i've seen the worst thing happen to these uh step daddy step boyfriends y'all ever see a baby i didn't seen baby daddies come pick up the new boyfriend in the car take them for a ride bring them back to the front of the house crying <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I better stop. <laughs> I better stop playing. Like I'm so serious. I'm so against. I just seen the worst of the worst stepdaddy situations. That's why I was like, I don't understand. Like it's monster <laughs> baby daddies out here that will ruin your life. Don't do it, fellas. Don't do it. Right. I mean, I'm not advocating it. It's a different era. It's a different time period. When I did it, when I, you know, I was, I was sincere in what, you know, I wanted. I was sincere. My husband was. <clears throat> sincere that he wanted a specific day a thing he wanted a specific woman and i and i presented that image to him and that's what he wanted and he took took you know uh what he did i came as a, a package right but these women are all over the place these days all over the place with baby daddy two different baby dad both of my children had the same father it was just a matter of not working out it was what it was these women have three four five different baby daddies don't you know automatically if you're gonna sleep with them, you're gonna get them pregnant because they <laughs> ain't no birth control. So you already know it's a it's a monster that you know when you go over there. So it's a hazard to even go over there because you know what's gonna happen, especially if she have a bad relationship with the baby daddy. I didn't have a bad relationship with my baby daddy. He lived in a whole nother, he lived in a whole nother city. And, and and very rarely did he and I talk except over the phone to talk about the kids. And I was like, no, we, we you know, just stay over there. See, see, we, up. Yeah. I got a question. So did he did he try to get fresh with you? But the baby daddy? Yeah. No, I, I hadn't seen. I don't think I once my children, once I got married to my husband, I didn't see the but I hadn't seen their baby daddy since they were like four and five. So I, I haven't seen him since in about 20 like over the, I mean, like over the phone, you said you talk on the phone. Yeah, for, you... for about that two or three years that, okay. that I was married. But at, once after it, it, it tapered off and uh, <laughs> it tapered off and then he got in touch with the kids when they became teenagers. And I was like, I don't have anything to do with him. You talk to him and you have a relationship with them. If he's a shitty father, y'all going to recognize that he's a shitty father, but I don't have anything to do with it any kind of uh, thought pattern about him. Okay, I don't have negative, I don't have any negative or positive. I don't have anything to say about him. You guys get to know him as teenagers and that's what they did. But they had already had my husband as their father for 15, 20 years. So mm. it didn't make a difference, right? Okay, so here we go. We're gonna let this sister keep cooking. And Sorry. there you have it, okay. So three years. <laughs> uh, and the next time will be your wedding night. Yes. Okay, three flaws you have to work on, honey. I wrote these down too because I am working on them currently. Uh, I want to be as consistent with my personal business as I am with work because I feel like I give my all at work, but then it's like my own business and I'd be like, I'm tired, you know? So it's that. And then um, another one is asking for help when I need help because like, it's not easy to just be doing everything by myself and like, I don't really get help from my family. I don't get help from the other parents. It's just me. It's like, you know, so, but then too, it's like, Mommy. if someone is offering me help, I feel like I'm reluctant to act. So I feel like I want to actually ask for it if I need it. Like, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, like, I don't ask for help. I feel like I don't ask at all. And that's the problem. You know what I mean? But, uh, and then the last one is standing on my boundaries after I forgave somebody. 
because like I would forget somebody and then it'd be like, oh, you know, and it's like, nah, you nah. <laughs> so I gotta just stand on my boundaries. Like there was a reason that the boundary was placed there. And I feel like um I'd been learning about boundaries and I wasn't uh emotionally mature before. And I feel like I am now and I feel like I can see the red flags, I can weed out what I don't want at this point and I wanted marriage the whole time and I feel like I keep ending up with people that don't and it's like you know I just know I feel like even just the boundary about no sex I feel like that's helping me weed them out you know so I feel like I have the tools that I need now you know I'm sorry. okay and why would a guy be lucky to be with you because I'm amazing <laughs> um I feel like I'm just really a caring person i feel like i try my best in every aspect and um i feel like i give my I all you, i'm a caring per i see you too baby i feel like i'm a caring person and um i, I just you, i'm just at the point where i need to make sure i'm I pouring into you, someone that's mommy. pouring back into I me you. i see you too pickaboo <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> but um but yeah and i feel like i just I feel like at this point I deserve it and I have the capability to um receive it now. If that makes sense. Okay. All right, we got some questions for you, love. So let me get let me pull them up. Um not the pen questions. I was scared of this. <laughs> no, this one too for real too real for most that it's your body. You can stop doing anything at any time. What? What you mean? I think she's on your side. It's your body. You can stop doing anything at any time. No, I I work out. I had I'm like a year well, ago missing, from. No, you're missing. She's agreeing with you. You're oh, for sure. Okay, I know that. I get it. I understand. When I have yeah. sex. Okay. Oh, that's nice. The king of Javar, The king of Javar said, "Would you date a man that is financially celibate?" Meaning he is waiting till marriage only to spend money on his wife. Yeah, I feel like that's cool. I'm not tripping off that. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it and taking care of me and my kids. Like, but you gonna know what you're stepping into, you know, and not just like, you know, I just um I don't expect you to be like, oh, I'm taking care of you, but like, you know, that's the goal eventually, you know. Okay. This one said. Classy perspective said, ma'am, you mentioned the phrase giving your all. To me, the greatest gift a woman can give a man is birthing a child. The next man has to vet you and the fathers in order for him to be the man you want in your life. Well, <laughs> um, huh? I mean, uh-oh. What does he? You can see. <laughs> um, I don't understand. Like, what do what you mean by that? Um, like I don't want to read it again. Um, he said, "Giving your all to me, the greatest gift a woman can give a man is birthing a child. The next man has to vet you and the fathers in order for him to be a man you want him to be in your life." So what he's saying is this: you have two children by two men, and okay, you've learned some things. So now you want to be celibate. And you're focusing on marriage only. But he's saying the next man has to a accept your children, and if he's going to be a quality man. He has to have a relationship with their fathers. So he's saying that that man has to also vet you. I mean, yes, me, but I don't feel like necessarily their father, especially when, like. Well, no, I think this, I, I think a lot of moms miss this. Do your do your children have relations with their dads? My daughter does. She we have fifty percent custody with my daughter, and then I have okay. my son by myself. Okay, so let's so let's give an example. So now you find a man, you get married, and obviously your child is with you, correct? Mm -hmm. And then let's just say your child and your and your husband, her stepfather, get into it, and now she's like, I'm gonna call my daddy, and now her daddy has to come step to your husband because there was an issue with his biological mm -hmm. daughter. So I think that's the example he's given. When a man has to accept women and then also the children's dads. And that does happen. I mean, I have I can, friends. I can understand that, that. that. I can understand that, but I feel like 
if the mm. communication is where it should be, then there should be a way to work it out, or at least hold on, baby, or at least like come to an agreement where everyone can be adults about the situation. Like it doesn't. I feel like if that's the if that's an issue, then there's not good enough communication. Baby, stop, please. I got beef and baloney. So here we are. This poor girl is foobar. And I think a lot of these high schools need to start some kind of education. I like how that. me and Mr. Walker to go around to all these <laughs> high schools and have like some kind of, you know, sexual education. Yes. And, and give these accounts and let, I don't think, I, and it's unfortunate, it ain't no excuse, but some of these young folks, especially women, they don't know how detrimental it is to having children outside of wedlock in 2024. Yes. I'm not talking about no other time in history. I'm talking about today. Yes. They are unaware. I I they're unaware how right. it's fatal. It's a fa it's fatal. If and you can get them, if you can get them at 15 and 16 and say, hey, you don't want to be 23 and got three kids. You don't want to be this age and have these kids. Let's sit down and figure out what kind of alternatives you guys can have besides getting pregnant at this age or in the future before you get married some kind of educational program yeah. i believe i truly we believe got it they gotta cut the gotta check right. yeah, tell joe Biden, oprah winfrey somebody mm -hmm. cut the check me and mr walker go around to every high school <laughs> in the country and and educate be right. because here's the thing you gotta you gotta have somebody that's got to be the right messengers right. and we just ignorant enough to go before these rowdy crazy kids and get right. the message across that'd be that'd be so fun that'd be hilarious yeah, we also we also got to get the message across young men young men who feel like they don't want to wear condoms where they you're, yeah. giving, that woman, you're uh, giving that woman a, a license to have your baby if you don't want to control your peen you have to be we have to get that message to men and young men and young women I agree with that. Educational awareness is key. Because and I was going to say that because the young men got their own set of issues, like as far as, you know, the whole rap culture and all this drill. Mm -hmm. That's But like I said, these women are the byproduct because where are the boys coming from? So right. we need to, they are the ones raising them. So we're trying to get this at the root. We can't I understand listen. completely. Today, when those ladies on that panel said to me, oh, they don't want to take it because it's side effects. It's this, that, and the other. It's this, that, and the other. I'm surprised that you pushing birth control, heathen queen. Why are you pushing all those chemicals on those kids? They need to be natural when they having sex. They don't need to be doing that. I was like, wow. The whole they, generation. They need to be natural. Whole it's so effed up. Just, ain't, nothing, uh, ain't, ain't nothing about this natural. Babies having babies ain't natural. That's not. That's at, not at all. Need. Yeah. Six. Listen, they saying that that you know physical intimacy education is still in the in the classrooms. I don't know nothing about it. Not the way it was. Not the way it was when we was there. No. Yeah, man, shout out to our old high school gym teacher because I'm telling they laid it to us flat. I was scared to yeah. put my little weenie in some. I was terrified my thing's gonna fall off, and that was a good fear, a healthy fear. Right. These kids nowadays, they like listen here. <laughs> I. I don't know what's on their mind. I mean, they got diseases that'll make your stuff fall off, shrivel up mm -hmm. you, forever. You yep. have this, that, and the third. Look, you have to be these people. Some of these people are not educated. They just feel like having sex. But there's consequences to doing that. You mm -hmm. have to give a person a choice. If you have a choice between saying, hey, if you have sex, you're going to get AIDS, herpes, blah, 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 unless you wear this early. Early to kids, 13, 14, 15, you get to them early, it's going to be a chance that the bulk of them are going to say, well, well, wait a minute, let me let me get a rubber. Let me let me get some birth control before I start jumping out there. I'm saying, oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm I'm telling the truth. I'm scared. I'm all straight. I'm going to say, even if you don't get no disease, that, that young lady going to get all discombobulated. Her hormones going to start acting up, and it's going to be just don't do it. These kids right. are too, they out here hunching. And they don't know how to process these emotions. They just they effed up. Like they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be experiencing these things. But like I'm you said, it's not like we. It's not like when we were younger. Our education, our sexual education, was different. I got scared straight. Scared straight. And you know, or not going health book. Go to health to health, and it was called sex ed. Sex ed taught you everything you need to know. 
what you needed to know to prevent uh, uh, prevent a uh, uh, pregnancy. What you need, where to go to prevent pregnancy. Where yeah, my, 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 you yeah know, that my, was a different, different. Like I said, they was giving stuff how to prevent this, how to you know. We give, we going straight to the big bang. We are speaking on single motherhood in particular right. and father. We're gonna speak to the young men and women because, like you said, mm-hmm. it's both. But we're going right to it, like right to the young folks. Right. And we're talking about this in particular. Like you said, mm-hmm. their parents got to tell them about all the, we can't talk about everything. We right. can focus on this and get some right. change. Right. Huh. I mean, because that's 70% uh, child, that 70% single mother statistic is unimaginable. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We got to think about the future. And we got to think, like, whenever these these single moms, like, it's going to get worse as they get older. They they even more immature. So imagine, you know what I'm saying, the, our children and the children of our peers, they continue on this single mom cycle. You, you literally are just going to get to a point where you're going to have the daughter, the mom, and the grandma, like the unholy trinity, going to the bars and clubs together. Like, seriously, keep playing with it. Like, the ignorance is going to continue to fester. And it got to be like the old infomercials back in the day where we'll show you, like, here's your brain and here's your brain on drugs. You know what yep. I mean? We'd be like, Bonquisha, here you are at 25 out of college. You know, no kids. Here you are at 25 in the projects with three kids. The whole chart have a have a a beautiful young child <laughs> sister and show like the game of life. Y'all like, have a whole path. chart, huh? Y'all have here's, a whole chart. <laughs> whole chart like the game of life. Here's your path right. as a single childless woman. Right. And this is this is your path. Right. Now you you two for two by the time you 22, here's your path. Right. If you think that you can go against the odds, good freaking luck, but it's it's not probable. Not right. me. And that's why I said, we go, not me, because I know my mm-hmm. auntie, she had three kids by three men, and she is CEO now. Right. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Awesome. But that's an give, more, give us role, right? the context. The context always makes sense. If you used to take this woman, the CEO woman, and really get to know her, misery is in the room. She miserable. These women, these I've seen these CEO women literally grab bums. They will marry bums. And they would treat them like dogs. I'm telling you, I've seen boss chick CEO women become Mr. The man that they despise off the color purple. They've right. seen them. I have seen <laughs> right, working as a general contractor. Seen this one CEO chick. She had a husband and she was just treating him like a dog because he he couldn't match her income. And it was wicked <laughs> to see it. So here we go. We're gonna let her keep cooking. Hit the like button. Thank you. <laughs> communication but i mean like in an own personal scenario i could think of i had a friend who got married but had a child first and you know with her husband there was challenges and the things the way her husband wanted to run the household and her daughter at times would call her father and rightfully so was her father and then it, it did cause an issue i'm not saying this would happen for you i'm just saying that's that thought process of that question but let's keep moving you have more questions um, you have more questions if you want. You want them? Yeah. You do want them. Okay. Um, okay. Monique, Monique said the men in the comments bullying women on the show either don't have their mothers in their lives or were bullied in school. Very corny and very lame. That's why. I'm not crying. Okay. Um, I can agree with that. That's, I can agree. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like you shouldn't be like trying to bully someone. Like I didn't choose to be a single mother. I thought that I was gonna be married both times, and I feel like I was like tricked and given something that wasn't real. Like I was given a facade, and I feel like I just know how to. Can you stop, please? I know how to um like, well, see the red flags, but also like pay attention to the red flags. You know, like I don't know. And then also too, I feel like my intuition is better than it was. And, you know, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if that answers. Did it stop? Can you go to your room? No, I want to. Okay. Can we say, please put him to bed. 
<laughs> it's eight o'clock. His bedtime is in 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh, okay. Here's another question for you. Can she be celibate if you score very high in other you can be celibate if you score very high in other areas? It's a hard sell with two kids. It drops your score. But you can focus on other things to enhance men in your life and become a wife. Good luck. Okay. Uh if you feel like it drops my score, then that's on you. Like I understand like what you mean, but not not like it's advanced everywhere else. Like you're saying, like I'm not lacking <laughs> i feel like i'm not trying to like be cocky but like i know who i am and i know what i'm capable of and i know where i'm gonna be and i know what i'm getting to and i know what i'm capable of on my own so really it's just like a partner but that's why i was saying like i, I needed to be a provider because i'm providing so much whether it's emotional comfort whether it's uh stability whether it's fixing a schedule whether it's setting stuff out for somebody to go to work in the morning but like the problem is i'm doing all that and it's like a dude that don't pay the bills a dude that don't buy the food for the table i'm buying the food paying the bills and providing everything else no so you can be the provider financially and i will provide the rest that's how it's supposed to be is how i feel mm -hmm. You tripping. Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. At best, at best, you're going to get Dre to come in, build you up, take you down. Y'all know the rest. Huh? No bread, no water, just meat. <laughs> she that's feels. wild. That whole situation is just, that's just Re I'm just reeling of all the negatives that every time she opens her mouth, she said, I don't want to be cocky. Cocky for what? Huh. Cocky about what? What are you cocky about? Your kid can't keep his hands to himself. You can't control your child. You don't understand that a man wants certain specific things that you don't have and you're not looking to do it. It's not like you're educated because you're not educated enough to understand what what the the questions that they paid for were meaning celibacy makes you no difference one way or the other okay self-aware is all the way out the window maybe one minute of clarity but the rest of it is down the drain just down the drain there, there's can, no there's no hope for that i i love the way they say you know i feel i feel ladies be careful with that you know when you say you feel that's you pretty much just nullifying what you about to say. I feel as if I'm healed. I feel as if I'm a wife. Don't care what you feel. You can feel a lot of things. But Feelings. seeing as the thing, a lot of women think because they know how to cook, clean, and all that, that that's a wife. See, and that's, that's a thing. That's not, that's not what a wife is. A wife and is it, just not cooking and cleaning. And even that, he the queen cooking and cleaning. Dang near any of these women that actually name a flaw they will say consistency. So even if they do know how to cook and clean, they ain't doing it on a consistent basis. They're not doing anything consistent. I give, I do give this sister a little bit of credit with her little bit of self-awareness. She said that the only thing she consistent with is work. She said that is it. Right. And that is something we have observed with today's modern woman. They give, they all, she said, she said, I give my all at work. And y'all in the chat said, she's so tired. She most tired. You understand, Zaddy but she's, gets, but she's a she's a uh, what is it called? She's an entrepreneur. She works for herself. Listen. So therefore, she works for. She said she was a pharmacy tech, but then when she you got to talking to her, she works for herself, which means she's at home all the time, and the kids are running in and out of the room, bothering her doing this, that, and that. She has no consistent schedule. That kid is four years old. That kid Listen. should be in the bed by seven. By six Listen, or seven. Can't, can't no woman on the face of this earth, I'm going to stand on this, be in no form of they feminine with two jobs. Two jobs, right. inside house, outside the house, like you really right. get, you get two W-2s, <laughs> ain't no way. You a whole strong boy. You stressed out, <laughs> your back hurt. You're right. like, seriously, you right. ain't got no time to even be sweet right. and kind and delicate. You hard and strong. Strong black woman. <laughs> In the words of the Godfather, you don't get money. You get second shift at the plant. Ooh. At absolute best. Now, man, I'm about to say. 
<sighs> at, at, they need to be that ain't at absolute best. They will be blessed and fortunate. Yeah, we got to change that. They don't get money. They get the greeter at Walmart, the guy that's checking your receipt when you leave the store. Yeah, there are plenty. There are plenty of factory factory workers all over the world. That's all you got to do is hang out in the parking lot, be friendly with one of the women that work there, and then you will get yourself a boyfriend and maybe a husband. Because a lot of single fact, there's a lot of single young men that's their first job is factory work and they learn a skill they learn how to drive a forklift they learn how to do all of these things hang out in the hang out in the parking lot meet up with some girls that are in the parking lot and you will find yourself a worker man and then go from there but don't go above your station because you're nowhere near where you want to be you are no self-aware maybe he and he's got issues too the fact that he, the fact that he has issues mean you're probably going to be on the same level so go where your level is don't go beyond that because you're going to get disappointed and you're going to be another baby mama third baby mama fourth baby mama dealing with these dreams that you got hmm. you ain't so you ain't aware you haven't learned anything because there's five years between that first child and this child okay Ooh. you learn you didn't learn nothing in between them five years and then you got in the same situation with that four-year-old baby daddy. You didn't learn nothing. You ain't learned there nothing. You go. There you go. Good observation. <laughs> Says she's unemployed and living with her mama now. Hmm. And that's See? a bad part. That's a bad thing. You living with your mom and your mom is not giving you gems to tighten yourself up. To tighten Hell. yourself up as a woman. Because show us the body first. Up. Show, show yeah. us the body. Yeah. You see, the mom, yeah. the mom probably in the same predicament as her, probably had two or three kids, probably don't know no different. Oh, girl, you got the work. You got to take care of these kids. Yeah. All of them running around. You got to do the like me. You got to do just like me. Yeah. You got to go to work. You right. got to struggle. Right. And and it's we done seen it. So that sister will sit there. She'll start going to work, making mm -hmm. some money. Right. Then mom going to come like, look, you can better help on this light bill. You got these kids running right. around here. It's wicked. It right. get to a point where that won't that daughter ain't there to save her money, stack up and and try to make things better. There's crabs in a the bucket. They right. just gonna keep each other down. And if she do live with her mom, her mom probably got the same situation. She probably did the same thing. Girl, you got to do just what I do. You got to work. These men ain't no good. You a good yep. woman. That's all you got to do is this, that, and the third. She I can hear it right now. You your mom is probably in the same situation as her. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. so, so here we go. I'm gonna let her land this plane. Shout out to Big T says HQ spotting tonight. Here we yeah, go. They spitting. They mean spitting. Oh, <laughs> you want to okay, spitting. Provider next. Yes, I'm tired so of providing. <laughs> okay, oh, I think I might have missed that. So you want a man that's gonna pay all the bills? Um, uh, I don't mean like all the bills 100, percent but like if we're married, like 90. percent so you want a man to provide for you and your children then? Because you know you have two children. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, are you willing, Tax Master said, are you willing to wait until your kids are older before dating? We can see how active your child yes. is. So it may be a better option for you. <laughs> yes, I am willing to wait. But like I said, like I've, I've already been three years. Like I don't mind waiting. I It hasn't been the problem, but I figured... Might as well give it a shot. And I feel like Kendra's show was like my best opportunity. Okay. <laughs> but like, I know I can do it. No more. I'm a, this will be the last question. Don't buy no more paid questions when it comes to her. Naj Mitchell said, you're showing all the men you're not in control of the house. They will be walking into chaos. If you can't make baby steps, how can you? If you can't make the baby stop, how can your husband? When did I ask him to stop? I never asked him to stop. My son is allowed to play. He is a child. Your kid doesn't play. This is his house. I don't understand what what that. I don't understand. You're yeah, saying that it's a house of four. I, I, I will oh. say this. I will say this. You, I love your child. He's so cute. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And obviously, you love your child because, of course, you love your child. But on a dating show, the 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 unableness it comes across of him able to do what he wants 
could be a turn off to some men, you know, and not saying all men, but some men could look at that as do I want to join life? You know, there are some things they just have to consider. And now you're telling me you want a man that's a provider. So he has to make a certain amount of money to pay all the bills. So I just think it's something to just think about. Just something to think about. Well, I understand that. And I feel like I have thought about that too. Cause like, I understand that not everybody is okay with me having a small child. I understand that. Like, I'm not asking everybody to be okay with that, but that doesn't mean I can't put myself out there. But also, like, it's not, I'm not trying to control him. I'm letting him be free. This is his house. He has been at daycare. I just got off work when I tried to get on on Facebook. I was literally pulling in from work. Um, so, like, I'm letting him get his free time. He has bedtime at 8.30. He will be fine. Like, I fuck is you talking about? She said this is his house. All right? And that's Big Don once said. Kids gonna be goddamn kids. These babies over here. Well, then, you got well, all them under goddamn six years old. What the fuck you think? Hey, it's a whole circus in this motherfucker. They're gonna be kids. They're gonna do what the fuck they want them up and do. Like kids supposed to behave. And that is, is what it is. If you don't like it, we don't give a fuck. Kids gonna be kids. <laughs> but listen to this. But listen to this. And I can't get past this one little fact. Why didn't she get on the Kinder G show at 8.30 when he was in the bed? See? Why you put your tail on here in the middle of that child being buck wild? Why didn't you get on there at 9 o'clock when he was in the bed? Nobody giving instruction either, Queen. Nobody telling these, giving these sisters any kind of correct input. They're giving terrible input. Telling them that right. they baby cute, bringing up on the show. Well, I don't know right. what they telling them, but they you not see? they in these gynocratic yeah. circle jerk echo chambers. There's absolutely right. zero constructive criticism. You so they, see, you see what could have been different. You see how her presentation could have been totally different with that child in the bed. See, we know about the child, but the see, I, my parents always said a child should be heard. A child should not be seen and not heard after a certain amount of time. That she sure. should have been on this show at 8.30 if she wanted to be on this show. Not in the middle of his rambunctious time. Not in the middle where she looked frazzled, trying to keep his hands off the camera, looking crazy in the middle mm -hmm. of an interview. And she talking about, I need a husband to come in here and help me get some structure for me and this mm -hmm. wild ass baby I got. This is his what house. Is, is she talking about he's sleeping house. at 8.30. 8 Don't nobody in the chat. Drop a one in the chat if y'all think that baby up till midnight. We all know. We yeah. all know that baby so going 30. I'm, I'm looking right at now. how old is that little, little I'm Four. so tired. Four. Four years old. He up here acting like my one year old. Just little. You see, it's like little rambunctious, little deviant. <laughs> like at four? Right. Four years. And we get it. We get it. Know at four, yeah, but you <laughs> but, but the child gotta have the schedule. The listen here, a, schedule. Alexa be like, listen, Alexa be like, it's such and such a clock, go to sleep, and they know they go right to sleep. <laughs> right. My my parents, my parents was like, I don't want to see none of y'all after eight o'clock. I bet not see none of y'all after eight o'clock. My sure. husband was the same way. My husband was like, I don't need to see you. Dinner is done around 6 30, 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The homework should be done. I don't want to yep. see none of y'all after 7 30, 8 o'clock. You shouldn't be out here on my floor. Don't be out yep. here unless you want a glass of water. Don't be out here talking. Don't be out here watching no TV. You got not even you that. Know. Stay locked your door. Don't come outside. Right. <laughs> right. And so you should train your children <laughs> from a young age that they got to sleep in their own bed, that they got to sleep in their own room. They got a certain amount of time, certain time in which they go to bed. You have to train kids to go to bed at seven o'clock. Yes, you have to train kids to go to bed or not eat at a certain time. You have to train the kids to do these things. You can't just let them run buck wild and do what they want to do. You are training and uh, uh, controlling an individual so they become a different individual as they grow up. If you leave a child to be buck wild, a child is going to be buck wild and do what they want because they don't know about rules. You're supposed to give them rules because you love them enough to give them rules. And that means get your tail in the bed at seven o'clock. Even if you're four years old, you understand what I mean when I say get in the bed at seven o'clock. Because that's mm -hmm. what your bedtime is. Get on in there. Don't come out of that room. 
That's Amen. it. I don't understand. Like my my kids are on a schedule. They it's his playtime. He can play. I don't I don't <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> Like that's y'all's opinion. Like I'm not like everyone's entitled to their opinion, but I I'm completely aware of what I got going on and you don't have to accept that, but like I'm sure someone will. If you don't, that's that's understandable. Okay, listen, we don't hold you to the fire enough. Let's keep it going. So it's Felicia <laughs> Sacramento, 28 Leo, pharmacy technician, also organic scrub, sugar scrub, mom to a three and a nine year old. Do you want more kids? Yes, I do. After marriage, uh, at least one. Okay, one more kid after marriage. Now, have you downloaded the Kendra G Singles dating app yet? No, I just heard about it today on Facebook, like two hours okay, ago. So sure, all right, that, no worries. I understand. We just launched this week. So make sure you download it. Make sure you download it and set up a profile. In the meantime, I will allow you to give your either Instagram or Facebook. Which one do you want to get? They already flooded in my Instagram. Like I'm getting in so many notifications. It's nuts. Uh, my my Instagram is pumpkin love. Uh, P. So Appreciate here we go. We'll check her Instagram out real quick. What's your final thoughts on her, Heather Queen? I, I think yeah. she has a lot of issues. I think she has a lot of issues she needs to address before she even think about dating. She needs to let that child become a little bit older. She needs to get more structure under that child first. See, I don't want nobody to look at me and say, I don't know how to control this human being. No man is going to look at you and see your kids jumping all over the furniture, jumping all over you, jumping in and out of the room. Nobody is going to look at that. What? Is that her? See what we're saying? See what we say, he's the queen. Yeah. Filters. Yeah. See what we say, he's the queen. Mid sins. Yeah. yeah, she gonna get some. People gonna go to her, her, her book, go to her uh, Facebook or whatever, and gonna look at her and say, "Yeah, she looked kind of good." Yeah. Oh, then, soft. Look at all soft. Yeah, it look know, like right? her face is melting. I the know, exasperation right? ain't plastered on her face. This ain't her in real life. Y'all seen how exhausted she was from working all right. the jobs. Right. She she, she presented. See, somebody that would see this and doesn't see her on Kendra G would look at her and say, yeah, I bust her down and I might take her out. But then they see the reality. The reality is she got red hair. She buck wild. Look at the stomach. Why is she, she on that? Like what I'm saying? That rude ass gut. I hate that. Yeah. Put that stuff in. Why you like look at what my baby daddy gave me oatmeal pie? <laughs> right. right, but we Is have that... to understand there's men that are visual out there that hold it. Men are visual, they're visual, and they're gonna she look had... at this and say she boom, put... boom, boom. She right? filtered her boobies, she put a filter on her boobs. That do not it. look like that girl. Now, these are old, we these are going back about three years now. Oh, she don't she had so that's about surgery? three years ago. Something going on. She had weight loss surgery. What's going on up on her armpit right. there? That was right. wow. She lost a lot of weight. Something happened. Uh, so these are old. It's about three years ago. You right. keep going back about four listen, years. Listen, this no, is she thotty, been, thotty, She's been tore up like this since she had the first baby. She <laughs> didn't pull herself together after the first baby. That's what happened. She she she's 28 right. years old. Some of these photos is when she was like 24, 25. That's what I'm saying. Every, she didn't she do a party empty. together after that, that baby. Yeah, she didn't put, sick. you know, she didn't do it. She couldn't wait to be two for two. Couldn't yeah. wait. So this was before the second baby. Yeah. She was still one for one out here and a young Look gusty. Right. The just she should have scrubbed this. Listen, sister, if you looking to trick a man to marry you, scrub this. <laughs> Cause this is bad, chunky, cute. That see what I'm saying? Wow. The 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 self grandizing. I'm also I'm so cute. Look at this. This ain't it, ladies. Just observe. Mm. Men don't like this. This is effing yuckety. She is a harachatang. That's mm. unfortunate. All that hair, every mm. wig, every weave. Where her hairline start? <laughs> y'all keep y'all keep it up. Listen, this generation is going to be a cautionary tale. They're gonna look back, they're gonna they're gonna go through books or or Kindle fires and be like, look at this generation of women that rip their hair out they scalp via wigs and hair glue. And y'all just think it's okay, it's not. 
she like colorful hair we do know that <laughs> and it, doesn't, it don't do her no justice it don't do her no good so every time these sisters put on glue on that wig that's real like industrial strength glue in their rips they hair clean out they scalp and they just keep applying it and ripping applying it and ripping that's that's what we got going on and ain't nobody telling these sisters to stop huh Damn, they won't stop having kids y'all worry about hair glue and all this stuff these women won't <laughs> stop having children outside of wedlock they so i think it's all connected i think these toxic chemicals leaking into their brains and then it's like worms taking over they're like i don't need no man just cool it just just meet wow. this is bad this is bad so as far as she go we're gonna send her up out of here we're gonna send her to glaze galaxy where she want to be glaze galaxy yes. Welcome home, Bo <laughs> We got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, Bo. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no, I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. Food. Yeah, Post. these ladies are something else. These ladies are these ladies that just went outrageous with it. That is an all red flag video. There's nothing positive on that video. Nothing she presented that was positive. Nothing that was shown that was positive. The kids are negative. Just no nothing that would make a man go over there unless he just giving her meat. That's mm -hmm. it. Like, like Gavin said, we ain't trying to save them. Any young sisters that look, peeped that Instagram, and you seen how she was carrying herself when she was 22, 23, 24, and look where that led her. Right. So, young ladies, y'all out there, you know, caring about in the same manner, look at your what your probability is of being a, a desperate, tormented, miserable single mom. Just in hot girl summer, please. You know, it's whenever we talk about these food bar instances, back to that one sister, she got two kids, and she says she's looking to have more kids after she gets married. And that's what we mean by food bar, Chris. Even in the wild, wonky world to make believe, if you do land this husband and do have a child within wedlock, it's always gonna cause issues because now you got these two bastard babies, and you got this this kid with a mom and dad in the house. And it's like that's what that's why it's food bar. Because even if it does start to trend better, there's always going to be these obstacles from the past, the vision, because people was moving wrong in the beginning.